Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testpreppinsight.com, and today I'm going to be directly comparing Babel and Rocket Languages. I've tested both programs, and now I'm ready to reveal which one I think is better. So if you're ready, let's get to it. Okay, welcome back. Let's jump right in. I should mention up front here that since I'll just be focusing on the major highlights and lowlights in this video, if you find you need more detail at any point, you can always check out our full detailed written comparison on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Babel vs. Rocket Languages. All right, first up here, let's compare pricing and affordability. Both companies offer multiple packages. Starting with Babel, they offer four different options. A month to month, a three month, a 12 month, and a lifetime subscription. The monthly plans include access to only one language, whereas the lifetime plan grants you access to all 15 or so languages that Babbel covers. The monthly plans range from around $7 to $14 per month, and the lifetime option costs right around $500 total. Rocket Languages, on the other hand, takes a slightly different approach. Instead of offering monthly subscriptions, all of their plans are lifetime and range from $150 to $450, depending on how many levels you want to purchase. And just so you know, those prices are a little deceiving. Those are just the MSRPs. Rocket Languages is almost always running some sort of deal or special promotion, and in most cases, you can expect to receive at least $50 off, if not more. So be sure to check out the description below for coupon codes. I'll drop any current discounts that I can find down there for you. Still, from an overall cost perspective, Babbel is the winner. They are clearly the more affordable option, unless of course you're looking for lifetime access. I should also mention though that both companies do offer free trials and money back guarantees so you can always test the waters before fully committing. And by the way, we work really hard to produce honest, helpful content all totally free, so if Rocket Languages or Babbel end up being the right choice for you, we'd really appreciate it if you would use those links listed down below in the description. That's how you can support our channel and allow us to keep creating these types of videos. And if you find out that neither Babbel or Rocket is a great fit, it's not a problem at all. It doesn't matter to me which language learning program you go with. We have a ton of other helpful reviews and comparisons that you can check out. Okay, so next up, let's talk about how the lessons from both companies differ in terms of structure, length, and format. That way you can start to get an idea of whether Babbel or Rocket is the right fit for you. And let's start with Babbel. Their core lessons are about 10 to 15 minutes in length and go by super fast. And that's because each lesson is made up of several quick hit interactive drills and exercises. For the first two minutes, you might be listening to new words or phrases and then repeating them. Then the lesson will quickly transition into a digital flashcards drill for a few minutes. From there, you might read a short grammatical or conjugation lesson and then reconstruct words or phrases by using your keyboard. And afterwards, you might be asked to complete a fill in the blank exercise by following a mock conversation. It's just a very fast moving hybrid approach, which I found to be very engaging and effective. The rocket lessons, on the other hand, are a little longer. Each one takes around an hour or so to complete from start to finish. And the rocket language programs are split between two different types of lessons. There's interactive audio lessons and language and culture lessons. For the interactive audio lessons, a moderator speaking in English walks you through a native conversation in your target language step by step. The moderator will start by explaining what the goal of the lesson is, cover why you're learning it, and then set the stage for the upcoming situation and conversation. Then you'll dive into the actual conversation where you listen to native speakers converse. In every few sentences, the moderator will stop to explain what you just heard, provide pronunciation tips, grammar explanations, and most importantly, ask you questions to have you engage and participate in the conversation. So essentially, think of these interactive audio lessons as guided native conversations. And then the language and culture lessons are sort of like interactive textbooks. You'll read a short paragraph explanation containing grammar rules and cultural insights, engage with a few examples to ensure you understand, and then rinse and repeat. And then, to finish out each lesson, you'll review what you just learned in the audio and language lessons through several short reinforcement exercises. This includes variations of flashcards, speaking drills, writing drills, and quizzes. So from a 10,000 foot view, that's how the two companies' lessons compare. The key takeaway here is that the rocket lessons take around an hour or so to complete from start to finish, include more in-depth grammar instruction, and place a greater emphasis on listening and speaking in the context of simulated native conversations. Whereas the Babel lessons are much shorter and include more variety in terms of drills and exercises. And by the way, if you want to see some examples of the lessons or drills from both companies, be sure to check out that full detailed written comparison. I'll have it linked down below in the description for you. I have screenshots and examples over there so you can get a better feel for what to expect. 
Okay, so now that you have an idea of how these companies compare in terms of pricing and lesson format, let's get into the major advantages and disadvantages that I took away after testing each program. But before I get to that, I should mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we give away a free language learning course to one lucky person. It's super simple to enter. Everyone is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description. It'll take you less than 10 seconds and hey, you never know, you could win a free subscription to Babbel or Rocket Languages. Okay, so let's start with Rocket Languages. Advantage number one, it has to be their interactive audio lessons. So instead of just listening or reading to an individual word or phrase and then repeating it like you do with Babbel most of the time, the Rocket audio lessons prompt you to use vocabulary and respond to native speakers in the context of actual simulated conversations. You're actively involved in following the conversation and the moderator of the audio lessons keeps you attentive since you need to understand what's going on in the situation and respond at the proper times. In my opinion, this type of simulation is powerful at getting you to recall and use language under pressure just like you would in real life situations. That's the key point here. The Rocket Language audio lessons simulate real world experiences, which really at the end of the day is about the best setting for truly learning a new language as opposed to just listening to words and phrases and repeating them in a vacuum. So Rocket definitely has the edge over Babbel in that regard. All right, advantage number two. Because roughly half the Rocket lessons are audio based, I like that you can complete these lessons while you're working out, cooking, taking a walk around your local park, etc. It's just nice that you don't have to have your face buried in your phone or computer at all times like you do with Babbel. I just think there's people out there that would probably agree with me that sometimes you just need a break or change of scenery when you're studying or learning a new language. So overall, I have to give props to Rocket for how flexible their lessons are compared to Babbel. Okay, advantage number three. I like that the Rocket language programs really emphasize cultural insights and grammar instruction. Now to be fair, Babbel does include helpful grammar tips and instruction throughout their courses, but the Rocket lessons just take it to a whole other level. And the nice thing here is that Rocket accomplishes this in different ways. First, as you complete the interactive audio lessons, the moderator regularly stops to discuss different grammar principles and verbally explain the reasoning behind them. And then of course, the lion's share of the grammar instruction is delivered through the company's language and culture lessons, which sort of take the form of a digital textbook. But to be clear here, I'm not talking about some long, dense textbook like you used in high school biology. Rocket does a great job breaking these lessons down into short, compact segments. Each section within the lesson is only about three to six sentences long on average, and within the lesson, there are dozens of breakpoints where you can interact with the examples and pictures to keep you engaged. So really, it's more like a mix between a scaled down digital textbook and an interactive exercise. Overall, I was just really impressed with the level of grammar and cultural insights the Rocket courses provide as well as how the company integrates this material into their lessons. Okay, last up here, advantage number four. I like that Rocket tries to create and promote a community among its users and really sort of gamify the language learning experience. So not only are there forums where you can interact with other Rocket users, ask questions, get answers, discover tips and tricks, etc., but when you complete lessons and drills, you also earn points. And then there's a leaderboard where you can keep track of your streaks and compare your progress and performance against other Rocket language users to keep yourself motivated and inspired. And then in addition to the points leaderboard, Rocket also offers certification tests. So as you complete each module, you can choose to take a test based on the widely accepted CEFR framework. And if you score at least 80%, you'll receive a printable certificate of achievement, which I know doesn't really mean anything in the big picture, but when you're trying to learn a new language, every milestone and achievement can really help improve morale. So overall, I like that the Rocket program offers outlets for you to connect with other users, as well as tools and games to keep you energized and encouraged. Okay, let's switch sides now and cover the major advantages in favor of Babbel. Number one is that their lessons are more geared towards visual learners. With Rocket, besides the limited amount of images used in their language and culture lessons, there's really not a ton of visuals, which may be unsettling for some folks out there. There are certain people who learn best by viewing images and visuals and associating them with words and phrases. It's just how some people absorb and retain new words. But really, this all comes down to personal preference. For some, this might not be a big deal at all, but for others who learn best through images and visuals, well then, Babbel definitely has the leg up over Rocket. All right, advantage number two for Babbel is that their lessons are shorter. They go by super quick, which is great for working professionals, students, and busy parents. 
Not everyone out there has a spare hour every day to complete lessons. And sometimes 20 or 30 minutes is all you have. So it's nice that you can knock out two or three lessons with Babbel in a short time frame and still feel like you're being productive and making progress. Okay, advantage number three is that the Babbel digital platform and mobile app are better than Rocket Languages. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about functionality here. Both companies' apps and websites function just fine. They're logically laid out, easy to navigate, fast, and offer everything you need. But at the end of the day, the Rocket Languages user interface just isn't as sleek or eye-catching as Babbel's. So really, I'm talking more about aesthetics here. The Rocket digital platform just feels a bit outdated, whereas Babbel's feels modern and hip. But to be fair here, I'm not sure how big of a deal this really is. After all, you're likely gonna select a language learning course based on the effectiveness of its learning framework and lessons and not how sexy their app is. For some, maybe it's a consideration, which is why I thought I'd mention it though. All right, the last advantage in favor of Babbel is that they offer live classes. Now to be clear, the classes are not included in Babbel's standard subscription packages. You do have to pay extra and it can get a little expensive. But essentially, the company offers hundreds of small group live classes per week across all different learning levels. And by small group, I mean no more than six students per class. Each class is typically around an hour long and covers all sorts of different topics. For example, if Spanish is your target language, the class topics might range from local food in Mexico City to Spanish holidays to vacation spots in Spain. It really does vary widely, so you can go down some serious rabbit holes and learn about some really interesting topics, all while improving your language learning skills. Overall, they're just a fantastic way to dive deeper into specific subjects, converse with your peers, and learn from experienced teachers. And since there are so many classes, you can basically pick the days and times that work for you and then drop in and out of the classes as you want. And that about does it for the detail in this comparison. So let's get to the final verdict. Should you choose Babbel or Rocket Languages? Well, after testing each program, it's a very close call, but I have to give the edge to Rocket. I like Babbel. Their lessons are short and engaging. Their digital platform and mobile app are top notch and they offer some cool extras. But when you really boil it down, Rocket's language courses are just more complete from top to bottom. Their lessons are longer and more robust. I love the way they design their audio lessons within the context of simulated conversations. Their language lessons go deeper than Babbel's when it comes to grammar instruction and cultural insights. And I like that Rocket tries to somewhat gamify the learning process by promoting competition among its users. So all in all, while I do have a few minor grievances with Rocket Languages, I just think they are the better choice overall if you're seeking to gain an intermediate knowledge and understanding of a new language. And that's all I have for you. I hope this video has been helpful and you learned a little something. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping us a quick comment below. That'd really be appreciated. And if you wanna learn more about either of these companies, or again, see that full detailed rent comparison that I mentioned earlier in this video, jump on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, as well as check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel. We have a ton of great content. Anyways, as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and we'll see you in the next one.